A top 10 list of what to do after installing Linux Mint 19. Coming right up. All right, welcome back. Now, keep in mind, as of this recording, this Linux Mint 19 Mate version, this is a beta. I believe the final version should be released at the end of the month, if I am not mistaken. So please be, be aware of that. But in the meantime, you can certainly download the beta and start using these top 10 uh, this top 10 list I've made out for you guys because this is what I do immediately after installing Linux Mint. So I, I did make a list and let's go through these quickly then I'll show you. Uh, number one, if dual booting, back up first. In fact, you should be backing up all the time, period, no matter what you do. Number two is change the clock format. Number three is update the system. Number four, faster software resources. Number five, clear startup apps. Number six, use the best weather app, in my opinion. Number seven, be careful installing graphics drivers. I'll get to that in a moment. Number eight, if you want to share your new desktop, uh, want to record it, use, uh, use, install and use simple screen recorder. Number nine, use the welcome screen. Probably should have put that at the top. Number 10, if you are lost, you can join the live Total OS Today show currently Friday nights to possibly answer your question. Now these are, in no, except for the first one, these are in no particular order in terms of what you should do. So let's go through these real quick. Of course, number one, you should be backing up even if you were not dual booting, whether you use Mac, Linux, Windows, back up and back up again. I have three external hard drives and multiple USB sticks just in case something happens. Better safe than sorry. All right, number two, change the clock format. I'm a 12 hour format type of guy, so right click preferences, 12 hour, and that's done. Number three, we're going to update the system. There are several ways to do it. We can click this icon here. Now, I already did a refresh, and I just have a few updates here, but let's get and refresh it again. I don't think it'll change that much, but just to show you. There are other versions of Linux Mint out there. In case you didn't know, there is something called the XFCE desktop. Cinnamon, and I believe they're working on the next Debian edition. Debian edition, not really particularly for newbies uh, to the world of Linux. But the, uh, the Cinnamon... Mate and XFC, you're probably going to be okay if you are completely new uh, to the world of uh, Linux, Linux desktops. So this should be just about done here. We'll see what we have. Okay, so again, I don't have much. Now, when I first uh, bring this up, you may get an option to uh, back up your system. There's a piece of software called uh, uh, Timestamp. In fact, let me look it up. This is something I don't use. I'm sorry, Time Shift, a system restore utility. Um, I don't use software uh, to back up. I prefer to use external hard drives, but you will get that warning or that notification uh, to back up. I've never used it, so I don't know how well it works. Those of you who have experience, if you wish to share your thoughts in the comments below, please do. But that's something I will not be using personally, although it does not sound like a bad idea. All right, so we went through updating the system. Let's find faster software uh, sources. Now we can hit a menu here or tap the Windows super key. Uh, we can type in soft and we want software sources. Of course, your password. Okay, now I did this, so this should not change, but what we have here are a couple mirrors uh, to select a faster server. Let's click the top one and see what we have. Now I'm guessing me being in the US of A that the USA option will be faster. Let's find out. And this shouldn't take long depending on your internet connection quality. I like this one. Unlock for us. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you know, for now, let me just go ahead and choose this one. Click apply. Okay. Let's go to the second one. Click that one and see what we have. All right. This is good enough for now. I can always come back to this later. Let me choose that one. Click apply. And we have to update the apt cache. Click OK. 
and let it do its thing. And we should be okay there. All right, so we did uh, finding faster software sources. Let's uh, speed things up by uh, clear some of the startup apps. So click menu again. We can uh, type start, startup application. Uh, personally, um, I, un I unbox or unclick some of these startup apps. If I click that, I can also do remove. But you may want to take a look at this. Some things that you may not use are Bluetooth. Uh, flat pack, uh, the welcome screen. Once you get used to Linux Mint, you don't really need that. Uh, the onboard, the on screen keyboard, I don't really need. Um, let's see. And for now, I think those would be the safest things for me to disable or to remove from the startup. I mean, if I wanted to completely remove this, an example, let's go to Bluetooth, highlight that, and remove, and it's done. All right, so the software sources is done. Let's move on. Use the best weather app. In my opinion, Mate has the best freaking weather app. Right click, we're gonna add something called an applet. Okay, type in WEA, weather report, add. And right here, I don't know if you can see this, we're gonna right click these two little slashes there, updating, we're gonna do preferences, uh, and you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius and so forth. Location, oh, you know what? I used to live in Florida, so let's type in Orlando. Orlando International Airport is close enough. Let's take a guess. The temperature is going to be, really? It's 46 degrees? I don't think so. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, and lower, low 70s. That's kind of cool for this time of year, actually. That's actually very cool. Um, Tuesday <laughs> highs are the lower 90s okay all right anyway you get the idea so we can right click and remove from panel this is my correct weather forecast for the Pittsburgh area all right so that's the best weather app in my opinion graphics drivers be careful and I'm not trying to be funny here uh, be careful installing graphics drivers graphics drivers for Linux in general not all the time your mileage will vary. Graphics drivers can be a complete mess when it comes to Linux. Sometimes make things better. Sometimes it will crash the system from my experience. Now I'm showing you this because if you want to try it out, that's fine. But just to let you know, this may not work out to your advantage. This will be entirely your decision. Now I know I don't have any what I call extra drivers to install. Uh, so I'll, I'll let this be for now. Uh, okay, let's see. And it says here, no proprietary drivers are in use. So I can escape out of that. Okay, if you want to record your desktop and share it with friends, I would install, I would install simple screen recorder. Um, let's go menu again, type in SYN. We will go to the Synaptic Package Manager. Now this is not the only way to install. Uh, packages but you know what even if you're a newbie learn this this is a powerful um, the synaptic package manager is a powerful piece of software to install and delete software so we can just type in simple screen for short search and you can right click now if this was not installed I can highlight or click mark for installation if I want to remove it, I can just mark for removal or complete removal, but it's good. I'm already running it. All right, uh, number nine, use the welcome screen. Uh, it's there for a reason. It's I know most of us are too busy to read, too lazy, don't care, you, but you should read this to avoid any obstacles in the future. And these first steps here, this is awesome. One of the best welcome screens I have seen in a long, long time. So check this out. And you don't have to do this all in one sitting if you have no patience, but definitely take a look at this. Finally, if you are lost uh, for whatever reason, uh, this channel was created for newbies, for beginners to the world of Linux and technology. And I'll, I'll, I will do my best, or you can join us. In fact, this is probably better. Join us live on a Total OS Today show, currently Friday nights, uh, this Friday there will not be a show, at least I don't think so. 
So you can join us, stop in uh, in the chat. It's it's free. It won't cost you anything. And uh, if you have a question, maybe one of us will be able to answer the question to help you out. Or if you just want to say hello, that is entirely up to you. So this is by no means a complete list, but sort of a top 10, my top 10 if you are getting started. This icon here that you see, this is my simple screen recorder currently recording. I, I, I just called it TOS for Total OS.